Hello YouTube! It's the second day of 2012. This could be a very interesting year. I want to just show you a couple of new things we have on survivalistunite.com. One is we put together another bug out pack. I'm not quite finished with it, so I'm not going to do the video on this. I just wanted to show you a little bit about it. It's got detachable bags, but lots of storage in it. I'm excited to um, debut this. It also comes with this. This is your military bill, your harness system. Great little, great stuff right here. But today, what we're going to do our review on is our stoves. By the way, this is our this is our food, our food carry pack. This little um, pack is just dedicated to carrying food. Right now, I have just about, right at 48 meals in here, which is pretty good. Okay, let me show you what I got in here. Some pasta, which we're going to use today. I'm going to attempt to make some spaghetti. A little bit of um, potatoes, some soup. But we're going to go through all this later. This here is little bits of pasta just for making the soup thicker. But what I'm looking for, these are also soups. Go to Asian markets. You can get a ton of food. We're going to want this. These don't need to be refrigerated. The little sausages. Naturally smoked sausages. We're going to use them today. Okay. Here's our spaghetti sauce. Check this out. So you get these at Asian markets. Little pouch of spaghetti sauce. How cool is that? Let's go with that. All right, pulling out our stove now. There's more food in here, but we'll go over that later date. This here is our new stove. You'll be seeing these on our site really soon, not today. It's a lid. See, I have this big cup for our other stove, which we're not going to use today. This stove burns any fuel you want to burn in it. Just like having a little portable fireplace. I wasn't going to go over this one yet, but i, I got to show you. I think it's so cool. Just open it up. Put whatever kind of tinder you want in there. We're not using that one today. We're using this little mini. This little stove caught my eye and I just, I'm dying to test it. It burns your fuel tablets. See that? Pretty sweet. Alright, I'm going to put a fuel tablet in here. And because I'm going to be cooking pasta, I'm going to put a little extra fuel tab in here that I'm kind of curious about, see how they're going to work anyway. These are from Coleman. So I'm just going to add one of these on top of that. Just check it out. See that? Little stacker. Okay. Put some water in it. This is our canteen. Got a little place to hold your purification tablets. I thought that was pretty cool. Got a cup in there too. There we go. Try to get this done. I don't want this to run over too long. It's really hard to tell when these are lit. Mm 
and I think it's going. Put a match in there and see if it lights up. It'll tell us. There it goes. Now we got a flame. Okay. Put the lid on so it boils quicker. I have it filled right up to about here. Now, while that's cooking, I'm going to show you something else. Can you see the flame in there? Okay, well, let's cook and I'll show you a couple more things. Here's my new knife. Pretty interesting blade style. It's got a bevel here for chopping. Put it on a piece of wood and beat it down with a stick. Then in here, little tender put together a fishing kit knife sharpener and a fire starter pretty cool setup let's look in here and see what's happening okay not yet so I wanted to time this I didn't bring my cell phone so yeah, but it says it takes five minutes, I believe it. So, let's cut up the sausage. Now, we're going to cut this off right now, and we'll be right back as soon as we get some water boiling. Okay, it's been cooking now for about seven minutes. We got a boil. I'm going to throw the pasta in there. Boiling pretty good. So put the pasta in there. I'm only going to use that much. Now, I'm looking under here. I still got plenty of fuel tab. But I'm thinking I should put in one more just to carry over the cooking. So I'm going to knock this down. Actually, there's a lot more than I thought there. But still, this is just, we're just learning here how to use this stove. So, and spaghetti, it's, it's going to take a bit. If it was any of the miso soups or the potatoes or anything I have right now, I'd be able to cook right, I mean, be eating right now. All I gotta do is put it in there. So I'm gonna put this in there just because. Now, let me wipe off my knife here. Let's check out the sausage. You know, it's it's really refreshing to know that there's meat out there we can get for our packs. Look at that, it's all linked together too. For packs that don't have to be refrigerated. I'm really curious about to see how this is going to turn out. I mean, if you're out on the trail, or you did have to bug out, spaghetti's kind of a familiar meal. It'll help you. Looks really good, actually. I'm going to try a piece here in a minute. Because it's nice to have food that you don't have to cook, too, in your pack that you can just eat. This is one of them. Hmm. Not bad at all. No. Actually, Look, it's boiling over. Nice. Now it's really cooking. Look inside there.
Now I'm gonna put this Friso sausage in here before it stops. I mean, before the noodles are already done, so the oil will keep the noodles from sticking. Now, this right here is a dried pork. I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there. Just give it some flavor. Looks like my dog's going to try it too. Okay. By the way, we'll be putting these neck knives on their site too. These are really sweet. I like them a lot. And also, we're going to use these Peco lights. Pico lights. These rock. 10,000 candle, I mean, 10 candle watts power. If it was dark out here, you would not believe how far these shine. And what else is really cool about them is they take four little batteries, like your, your hearing aid batteries, and they come in a clip. So, you've got 15 hours of life. When these batteries are dead, you flip them out, throw in another clip, twist it on, and you're ready to go again. You know, for lightweight carry gear, unbelievable. So, looks like everything's coming along in there. Well, this is really cool, too. I want to show you guys this. Ooh, can you smell that? It smells good. Let me see where I put it. Maybe it's in here. Refried beans. That's a meal in itself. This is another thing you really don't have to heat up. I can just cut this and eat them cold. But it's nice to be able to heat them up. Me and my wife went out exploring, seeing what's out there that we can use for long-term food storage. And we really found some really neat stuff. I'm gonna, another day, I'm going to go through everything we got in here. We got, well, oh, this is cooking. I'll show you a few more things. Miso soups is huge. It's amazing because it's got all your all you need in vegetables. They're very easy to make. Right in here is eight soups. Here's four cups of soup. And I went down and actually got this real bacon. You get this at any grocery store to add to my soups like this. Hey, look at this. Look at here. Looks like the pasta is just about done. Let's test it. Nope. Minute longer. But look at that. It's looking. It's almost looking like spaghetti. We're going to do a lot of cooking with this little thing. Just to experiment with it. We'll video them all. What do y'all think about this shredded pork? There's a lot of stuff that can go with. I mean, have you ever seen them dehydrated hash browns in a box in a little milk carton? Get those. Some dehydrated carrots and dehydrated onions and some of this. You can make you a quick little stew. Actually, I don't think I would have needed that other one. Because it's just about done. Now, in our bug out pack, I do have a fork and knife kit. I guess I should have put it in here. But... When building your bug out pack, just kind of think about like, I don't know if you've ever been to a renaissance or back in the medieval days. In them days, a person packed everything they could possibly need. I mean, if you went to somebody's house, you supplied your own pole, your own spoon. You didn't have that, you didn't need. They didn't have extras. So think like that. I'm actually going to make put some scrambled eggs with this tomorrow. This stuff's really good. Okay, maybe I put my fork in here, I don't know. Oh, 
I did. This is our fork set. These are going to be on our site too. Open them up. Like that. Look at that. Fork and knife. Comforts of home. Let's test another pasta. This little thing is really cooking, guys. Look in here. I'm impressed. You will definitely be seeing these on the site. I'm more than happy with it. These Coleman sternos, they're cheap. 25 in a box, or 24 in a box. I'll be putting these on our site too. In fact, when you bought, we bought this, it didn't come with any sternos, but for each one of these, we're going to put, include a box of sternos. Let's see here. I'm going to walk over here and strain this. Now, if I was actually on the trail or say we had to, me and my wife had to bug out, we wouldn't be wasting this because it does have the sausage juice in it and the pork juice. We would be saving that and using it for like a miso soup. All right. Spaghetti sauce. Wow, look at the pieces of onions and mushrooms and stuff. Really nice. Wow, that's good. Okay, we're going to stir this up now. Let it get hot. It's in there sizzling. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Just enough sterno to do spaghetti, too. So it takes three for spaghetti. I thought it would be in more than enough, but well, I could have done this earlier, I guess. Look at it steaming. Sucker's hot. This is ready to roll right now. Look at that. Spaghetti and sauce, meat. Now how's that for a meal? That is only a meal for one. That's why we have this extra one. There's me and my wife out there. There are actually probably two, three people. Or if we had to, to make stuff last, me and my wife can split that. Let's see how it is now. Needs a little hot sauce for my taste, but... Mmm, unbelievable. Look at these mushrooms. Well, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll be um, have more little cooking things going on segments. But, we don't know what's going to happen this year. And it could be very interesting. Prepare. And come prepare with us. SurvivalistUnite.com Have a good day.